and true personal independence just a baby step away well believe it so can you today is Monday April 27 2020 I am broadcasting from the south side of Jacksonville just a little bit of sexy and I gotta tell you that I am getting ready to walk I'm going to walk on camera for you today. How about that, folks? And let me tell you what. I'm really excited about that. I've been looking forward to this all day long. So let me set up the camera for you. you like that, huh? Now, I could go a lot further than that, and I did. This is my second take. I just wanted to see that you see that I can walk. Because there's people out there that really want to see me walk. So there you have it. I can walk. Now, let me tell you, before I walked, I did stretch on the stretching stretching exercises that I told you to do I did all of those all seven of them and so I'm very limber and I'll tell you what folks what a great feeling a liberating feeling it is to be able to walk one day I'm going to walk right on out of this place but I gotta tell you that living here has been a great experience, and I wouldn't have changed anything for any for the world. It's just been wonderful. The people here, the management, the the, the dietitians, the care that I've gotten has been great. It's been a very a good learning experience and growing experience and I gotta tell you folks that um, I have picked out a Bible verse to read to you Romans chapter 5 verse 1 to 5 and I picked this verse or this this passage in the Bible because it says 
my mother wrote next to the passage, Perseverance. I mean, what, what a perfect message, you know? So I thought, why not read this one? So this is in my mother's Bible. It is uh, Romans chapter 5. There it is, right there. Oh, I'm sorry. Chapter 5, 1 to 5, right there. And, and she wrote next to it, Perseverance. And here it says, Therefore, since we have been justified through, the, through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into his grace, in which we now stand, and we rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we also rejoice in our sufferings, because we now we know that suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance, character, and character, hope. And hope does not disappoint us, because God has poured out his love into our hearts by the Holy Spirit, whom he has given us. What a great message that is. I mean, I am thrilled to death to be able to share that with you folks. Now, i got to tell you that it is time to check out of here. I hope that my walking has been an inspiration to some of you out there. Because I know that you're all struggling in recovery, and that has helped. Now, let me, let me caution you. Please, you know, do not try to do this at home. Please consult with your physical therapist. I'm sure they have better ideas than just to pick up your walker and walk like that. So don't do that. I just wanted to show you that I could. Now, let me tell you, folks, that if I could just reach one person out there and make a positive influence on their life, well, guess what? I have done my job, and with that said, believe it. If I can get to this day with a big smile on my face and true personal independence, just a baby step away, well, believe it, so could you. Folks, thanks for tuning into the show. You have a great night, and I'll talk to you next time.